Florida by. Yes, I'm calling from the North Branch Library in St. Pete. Um, I just have an issue with a man um, soliciting in front of the library. I know it's not an emergency, but he's standing like right in front of the library doors with a sign that says that he's homeless. And I told him about our rules of conduct. I showed it to him written. He refuses to move to what we call our free speech area, which is off to the side. He's actually blocking the entrance. And some people are afraid to walk by something like that, although he is very polite. He's not doing anything, but I wondered, it's not a very important thing if someone could come by and explain to him that the entrance to the library is not um, a public access property for him to stand with the sign and to come in and out of the library. We can have someone come out there. This is at 861 North. That's right. Does he have any weapons with him I, or that you can see? Not that I can see. And he, he's a nice man. I, I don't call, mean to cause him problem, but I said if he can't move to the free speech area, I'm going to have to call the police. I'm serious, it's hard of hearing, I can't hear We have all kinds of programs to help people that need money, housing, and all that stuff. Why don't you apply for any of those? I'm just standing here saying God bless you on this vacation. I'm going to stay until about 6 o'clock. Yeah. Why don't you apply for any of those programs? That I don't need to. You don't need to? No, sir. I do not need to. Your name is Officer Miranda. Mm -hmm. My name is Jeff. Body People camera. think that you're asking for money. Is your body cam recording? Yeah. Okay. Officer Gardino? Jardino, yes, sir. Jardino. My name is Jeff. Nice to meet you. Your body cam's recording. People think that you're asking for money. I'm just standing here saying God bless you on this way. As long as you're not asking for money, I don't have fun with that, but again, people think that you're asking for money, so they're calling the cops. That's why. I'm not. Okay. Saying God bless you on this way. So that's just, even if I was, there's nothing y'all can do about that. Oh, if you're asking for money, there is something we okay, can do about it. Okay, the next person I walk by... Panhandling is not approved by the city. Okay, the next person I walk by, I will ask you for money. Do you want to get in trouble? Do you want to get, get sued? For what? For violating somebody's rights. It's a, it's a civil do right to ask for money. Do you understand that panhandling is not authorized in the city? Panhandling is absolutely authorized by the Supreme Court of the state of Florida, oh, as a matter of fact. Oh, the Supreme Court of the state of Florida. So you're here just to cause problems. I'm here to say God bless homeless veterans. Okay, stand we up for went over rights. that. And what did I tell you about it? What did I tell him about that? The thing you said that my as long as I'm not asking for right? money, and that's also that's and also. And then bad. I told you you're here because people think you're asking for money. Right. And then you said as long as you're not asking for money. All right. And then what I, did you say? Please have some money. God bless the homeless veterans. Okay, <laughs> man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. God bless the homeless veterans. Uh, all right, who call about him? Hi, yeah. Um, Sharon. Anybody? Yeah, we're getting Sharon. She's a great manager that calls. Can they pan here a little? I'm not paying. Can they pan here a little? 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 I'm not. Okay, even on like, this property. No. I'm the person who calls. All right. So it's, I know it's not a big deal, but I asked him twice politely. I showed him our code of conduct where it says no solicitation. I mean, uh, you know, and I, we gave him cards that's supposed to help him, places he can go. You know, uh, I said, if you need help, he has this. I said, but you, you can't block the entrance to the library. We have this free speech area by the bench. You can hold your sign there as a way from egress, mm -hmm. and that would be perfectly fine. He was very polite, yeah, very polite, um, not at all nasty. But he said, well, I prefer being here because I run into more people. I said, I know, because this is where they come in and out, and you're standing in their way. He was like, right here. Uh -huh. And um, I said, and some people are afraid to walk past somebody holding a sign. And, he, and I said, you're a big guy. If you could just move over, that's your option. Move over. 
or I have to call the police because you're not following our code of conduct. We explain it to him. He doesn't want to know. He's very, he said, I politely disagree. I said, well, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What's your name? Uh? My name is Sharon Coppola, C-O-P-P-O-L-A, and I'm the branch manager. That's why it falls to me. What's your better, better bird? Phone number here, or, or a phone number to get hold. Well, you can. Well, my desk has a phone. It's uh, seven two seven. And what time did he arrive? Oh, about an hour ago. And he said, "What time do you close?" He said, "Oh, I, I'll I'll stay until about six fifteen because we close at eight fifteen. I said, "That's what you just said." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, what difference does it make when you stay till you're still not following? Well, we explained to him, listen, the city of San Pete doesn't allow panhandling. Oh, well, then I'm going to start asking for money. Because I told him, as long, if you're here just telling people God bless, that's fine. I got no problem with that. Well, one size And I told him, I said, people think that you're asking for money. Yeah. Oh, so if I ask for money, that will be a problem. I said, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start asking for money. What is that? So I don't know what's his. Does he want to be taken someplace yeah, he to stay? Wants to be taken somewhere. Uh, I don't see any stuff. I'm surprised someone like him probably has stuff stashed someplace. I don't he's know. Trying, he's trying to create. He's trying to be argumentative. Yeah, and he was. He was politely argumentative. I had right. to say. Um, I'm from New York, so I mean that doesn't bother no, me. But, no. Uh, but he's, someplace. I don't he's know. Trying, he's trying. He's trying to create. He's trying to be argumentative. Yeah, and he was. He was politely argumentative. I had right. to say. Um, I'm from New York, so I mean, that doesn't bother no, me. No, no. Uh, but um, I, I, I said, you leave me no options. Now, before we got here, you didn't see him asking for money. Right? I did not see him asking for money, but I asked him, what's the purpose? One side says, bless, God bless you, but the other side says, homeless. You know, that's the kind of sign that you see along the roadway when you're driving your car and you stop for a light. Uh, that's the kind of sign that somebody would have. It doesn't say, you know, please give me money. But I said, but what's the point of you telling people you're homeless on the sign? You know, what's yeah, the that, purpose? That's the first thing I told him. I said, the city has programs for all that. You need housing, money, any of that. Why don't you just exactly. apply for any other program? Exactly. Oh, no, I'm just here telling people God bless you. No, 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 no. No, he wasn't. Because one side says God bless you, and one side says I am homeless. On both sides, they say different things. So you're homeless, so what do you want from people? Why are you telling them that? So what's the end? of that. What do you want from them? So they say, oh, you're homeless. Okay. <laughs> so I, I don't want to cause problems for the police. I know it's not a major emergency, but I had to do something because he refused. Okay. And any trouble with you? So what? Any he, trouble? he just came I back from lunch. I just came back from lunch and I said, you need to take your sign and whatever you're doing off the property. Our sign says no loitering. Yeah, He's I saw him saying, yeah. So he wanted to interact with me like like he knew his constitutional rights, I said, this is a city property. Yeah. We operate by the city constitution. Mm -hmm. He just ignored that. Yeah, no, he doesn't want to hear that. Yeah, so he didn't want to What's hear anything. Name? Richard Kinsey? K-I-N-S-E-Y? Who has, uh, you run the branch, right? You yes. Said? So you can get in trespass if you want. Yes. Okay. Yes. K-I-N-S-E-Y. <laughs> Do you want me to get a trespass warning? 27. What's up? Who's in there? The, uh, the manager in there. Who's the manager? Um, she runs the branch. Yeah, she runs the branch. Yeah, yeah. Right, so they're trespassing it? They're asking me. I have to fill, I have to fill out the trespass form and get all that squared away. Okay. Um, so I'll be a trespass. Leave it. Let me grab my camera. Okay. Let me the protest and under arrest. The threat of arrest. This is... As this is a constitutionally protected activity safeguarded by the First Amendment, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, public property standing underneath the American flag. Like, and you still have to obey the rules of the city of Four or five Tampa. days away from uh, you live here in Tampa? Independence Day. Yeah. No? 
Welcome to seven. And the city ordinances before you get it. Right now, city ordinance does not override the constitution. You swore an oath to uphold the Are you here in St. Pete? Am I here in St. Pete? Yeah. I'm here in the Hampton. I put some constitution. Alright. Well, they're asking me to leave. So I'm late. Congratulations, gentlemen. Take care, Jeff. Twenty 